What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com with another SketchUp quick tutorial. Uh, this week we're going to learn how to create a diamond using SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just dive into it. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the polygon tool and uh, move some faces around to kind of create the shape that we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate that polygon tool over here. Um, by clicking on it, it's also up top. You can select polygon from the drop down here. And you see down in the corner where it says sides and it has a number. I'm typing the number six and hit the enter key. So that means we're going to draw a hexagon, a six sided shape. And what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to click once and you're going to draw your hexagon like this. And it doesn't really matter how big it is. But then what you're going to do is you're going to use the offset tool. So you can either click on the offset tool to tap that F key and then click on your shape to offset a shape on the inside of your polygon like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use the move tool to move that up. So the way that you're going to do that is tap that M key and then click on this shape. And if you look, you can't move it up. Um, just with the move tool because this is all on one plane and for whatever reason SketchUp doesn't like that but what you can do is you can use the axis uh, inference locking and what that means is in SketchUp you can tap the arrow keys to, to lock along an axis so if I tap the left arrow key it'll lock to the green axis if I tap the right one it'll lock to the red axis what we want to do is tap that up key so tap up and that's gonna lock your item to the axis like this and then you can come up and you can create the top of your the top of your diamond so move, move your mouse up until you like the way that this looks and then um, click again and as you can see that moved your top face up and it created all these other faces as well so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the bottom of the diamond and in order to do that you're just gonna draw a line down from this uh, center point right here and the other way you could probably do this, if um, if you're not um, where all the axes intersect, is you could draw a line across here and heal this face, and then you could erase it. Um, and then just draw a line straight down, and that's going to be whatever your point for your diamond is. So um, just draw a line down, and then you're going to draw two lines out from that point like this, and that's going to give you a face right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use the move tool to make copy or the rotate tool, sorry, to make copies of this face. So click once to select this face and then come in here and click the rotate tool or tap that Q key on your keyboard. And you're going to need to lock this to the blue axis. So what you can do is so you can either come up here and put your mouse over this point and hold the shift key. That'll lock you to that blue axis like this. Or uh, you can just kind of put your mouse down here and just move it around until it turns blue. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the rotate tool in copy mode. So come in here and make sure that this is locked to the blue blue axis. That means your protector is going to be blue. You're going to click once to set this base point. You're going to want to activate copy mode. So um, if I just click once on this and move my mouse, it's going to move this face around. But if I tap the control key, what it's going to do is it's going to create a copy of that face. So you can come over here and click once and it'll copy that face right here. And then you're almost done. Um, don't click on anything else. Once you've clicked once, type in uh, X5. That'll create five copies of that face. And so it's going to create copies all the way around this circle um, in the same spacing as that first one. So you basically just created five copies and that means five faces over here. So now you've got your diamond shape uh, pretty much done. And uh, one little trick is if you can come in here after the fact and use the scale tool to adjust it up or down. So if you think it's too tall or too short, you can come in here and use scale um, in order to change the way that that looks. So if you enjoyed this video, please take a second and click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. So if you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button. I'm coming out with new SketchUp content every week. And uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what, what else you'd like to see, what you're struggling with in SketchUp, that kind of thing. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much.